So there are new questions after President Trump and former President Obama appear to pick sides in the upcoming French election. In the hours before the terror attack, President Obama called one leading center left is the way he's described. We'll talk about that. Uh, this candidate seen here in the picture posted to social media. His name is Macron. And then today, President Trump telling the AP that last night's attack will most likely bolster the chances, perhaps, of Marine Le Pen. Mark Thiessen, Fox News contributor and American Enterprise Institute scholar, and Mark Alderman, Democratic strategist who served on the Obama-Biden presidential transition team. Gentlemen, welcome. Good to have you here. Um, you. you know, Good sometimes the, the nuances of elections that are across the ocean, um, we, we feel doesn't have a lot of relevance perhaps directly to us, but it is very interesting and certainly intentional that both President Trump and President Obama are speaking out about the coming election that we are seeing this weekend in France, at least the first round. Mark, your thoughts? Sure. Well, there are definitely some parallels. And first, I think President Trump is absolutely right that this could have an impact on the election. Mm -hmm. um, Le Pen is running as an outsider uh, who's challenging the establishment. The French are, pro are arguably very upset with the establishment. There have been and since in the last two years, since January 2015, 230 people killed in terrorist attacks in France, in Paris and in Nice, multiple attacks in Paris. And now, as you pointed out with Congressman King, uh, they they knew about this guy. He might have even been trying to buy weapons from a jihadi. He had, was on the police radar and they didn't stop him. So that's got to be helpful uh, to Marine Le Pen, who's running both as an outsider and as having taken the toughest line on, on jihadism. Um, at the same time, uh, Trump has to be careful not to embrace Le Pen too much because she she is effectively all of the things that caricatures that the left has of Donald Trump, she actually is. They say that Trump is in collusion with Russia. We now know that that's not the case. In fact, he's taking a very tough line with Russia as president. She took $12 million from a Russian bank, Kremlin-backed Russian bank, uh, and she did it right after endorsing the Russian annexation of Crimea. So she actually is in collusion with Vladimir Putin, where Donald Trump was not. And so I think he needs to separate himself a little bit from her would be mm. the smart thing to do. Interesting. Mark Alderman, what do you think? Hatred knows no boundaries, Martha, and the Le Pen campaign has featured a lot of the same ugliness that the Trump campaign did, the scapegoating of Muslims, the embrace of Putin, the Holocaust denial, and Le Pen should not be underestimated because the bigotry there is as powerful as it proved to be here. At the same time, all politics is local, and I don't think we can read too much into what happens in France. The French Revolution was supposed to herald a new age for humanity, and the world got Napoleon instead. And I think that this Bannon-esque fantasy of a worldwide nationalist revolt is just demagoguery, Martha. Well, um, what Mark Thiessen said initially would not put under the same umbrella some of the things that you swept under there with regard to the comparisons between yeah. Trump and Le Pen. Um, however, you know, when you look at the election situation, you, you know, there's a lot of people in the middle, too, and they do a runoff and then, you know, they'll see who's in the next round. So it's not going to be over the course of this weekend. But we have Brexit. We have these movements that we've seen across Europe. Mark, how do you see it ultimately playing out, Mark Thiessen? And, you know, what does it say about where Western civilization and the countries that made it great are headed? Well, first of all, I think it's a little bit outrageous to suggest. I don't recall Donald Trump denying the Holocaust. So I think that's a, that's I think a, that's his an press secretary. I believe his press secretary stood no, in the White no, House and did no, that a week ago. No, no, that's not what happened. So no, anyway, no, I don't, no, I don't want to get down that rabbit true. hole. That's not so, what happened. Go ahead, Mark Thiessen. Yeah. But, you know, so there there clearly are parallels. I mean, look, Barack Obama entered into the Brexit campaign and it didn't really work out for him very well because they uh, he said that the British would be in the back of the line for a trade agreement if they did it. And mm -hmm. they ignored him. So I don't think there's going to be a lot of influence there. But it's sort of like it's an interesting because both of the leading candidates in France are outsiders. It's, it's as if the Republican and Democratic parties were both in, in third and fourth place in an American election. Uh, the French get the French uh, center left guy who's sort of the Clinton stand in in this election. He's he's an independent who broke with the socialists. And then they've got their Bernie Sanders type. They've got a candidate mm -hmm. uh, who's also an outsider who's for threatening 100 percent taxation. And he's in sort of for, uh, fourth place. So we'll see what happen, how this shakes out after the after the primary. But it looks like two outsiders uh, who will be the uh, leading candidates. Why do you think President Obama is, you know, sort of inserting himself and supporting Macron, Mark Alderman? Well, I do think, Martha, that President Obama should come home. I think we need him. He is the leading voice of the Democratic dissent. And I would love to see him advising candidates in Pennsylvania instead of Paris. Okay. <laughs>
Mark, Jason, final thought? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think uh, he, it, his endorsement of Hillary Clinton didn't work out all that well either. So, uh, you know, I don't know that he's had an impact here on the elections here or at home. I think Barack Obama's brand of, uh, of liberalism is out of vogue in the United States and in Europe, uh, and it's going to be defeated in, in, in Paris just as it was in London and just as it was here in Washington. We'll be watching. Thank you very much, guys. Good to see Thanks, you both. Martha.